morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Welcome to Otaku Chris is Talking. This is your weekly Boku no Hero Academia anime review, episode 32. Now, why do I say 32 and not season 2, blah, blah, blah? Because the episodes are just flowing through, and it's what it says on Crunchyroll, where I'm watching it. So, episode 32, this is for y'all on Anime Amino who... Ah, so extra sometimes. Now, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe as I make regular Bokunir Academy anime manga reviews as well as a few other manga and anime reviews here and there and a few other side projects like my Monday re reviews or discussion videos. And this morning, I actually posted up my first um, Rick and Morty like, gameplay. So if you do want to check that, links will be throughout the video. So it'd be really nice if you want to see some of those. Subscribe, notification bell, all that other stuff that I can't be bothered to talk about because let's get into the meat and the juiciness of this episode. Now this episode's it's fuck <laughs> Sorry, this fucking chair. This episode was more of a, like a chilled episode showing what's happened after the whole um issue with stain and how the public are dealing with it and how the the uh well the UA students are dealing with it as well. Now I wasn't able to do a review last week because I was really ill and a few things were going on, so I can't bother to go into that. But basically, in last week's episode, we got to see the actual aftermath and uh, how the hero, how Endeavor actually took the praise for capturing Stain, even though we all know it was Ida, um, Izuku, and Todoroki as well. So it's kind of like like the way that was kind of covered up and then it was shown to be Endeavor who actually saved the day. And I, I thought that was very, very interesting. I was wondering how many times has this been done in their universe? And it, well, this kind of also shows as well what um, Stain was talking about, as in do the heroes even deserve the praise that they're getting? And the whole reasons why they're doing it is just totally, totally wrong as well. So yeah, so that was uh, one of those ones. But that was brought up again in this episode. And it was confirmed that the, the news and everybody else, the general public, um, believed that Stain that Stain was captured by Endeavor, and um, Endeavor came and saved the day from like what well, saved the heroes, the seven hit pro heroes, and the three uh, UA students from Stain, even though we all know it was Stain. So. Interesting there. Um, that continues on and from there we get to see some of the other UA students and what they're currently up to. And it's really weird seeing how, like how some of the heroes aren't really being heroes, especially after seeing Stain and his whole issue, his thought process, why he's doing what he's, why he's doing. And in a way he's kind of right and what he's been doing is fucked, but it's also been helping society and he has a total valid point. So seeing Stain do what he does for the reasons that he, um, that he has, to then go back and seeing some of the heroes once again not really doing hero shit just um, doing modeling shoots which is like what's that got to do with being a hero just being on the street showing face to make them happy what's that got to do with being a hero so I was like uh, I feel like we haven't really learned anything but then we get to see what, the, uh, what some of the other UA students are doing. So I wrote down a couple of the here, a couple of the UA students here who I thought have great mentors, hero mentors. And uh, Ochako, she's learning martial arts. So she's actually learning to fight without using her, her quirk because right now her quirk is pretty good and can actually be one of her most OP ones. But that's no good if you can't use your own self-defense or are you always going to rely on your quirk? So it's really nice to see Ochako training with her martial arts. I think it was it Gunhead martial arts? But yeah, whatever it was, really, really cool. We got to see Krishima and um, Tetsu Tetsu. I fucking love those two guys. <laughs> and they're contributing to the community because that's what their pro hero is saying. And I feel that that's also right as well because you can't always just be like fighting fighting villains, fighting villains, and then kind of just leaving the small things to, to who? Like, no, as, as heroes, you should also be helping out the society, cleaning up some of the mess you make as well as some of the mess that other people make that but can't be fixed, all that kind of stuff to show um, just that you have a pure heart. So I thought that was really, really nice as well. And Kyoko Jiro as well, the headphone jack girl. I was nice. It was nice to see her actually on patrol um, with her pro heroes. And actually, what, what was she doing? She was sa she was saving a couple of hostages, but her she wasn't herself doing it. But she was using her abilities to aid with the um, with the whole hostage saving and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, can't really speak today. But yeah, so those three, I thought that was really really cool. I feel like they're taking the steps towards becoming real heroes. And yeah, well later at the beginning. Bef right before that, we get to see Bakugo as well. And Bakugo is with Best Genius. And we get to see Bakugo with his whole new fresh haircut. Well, fresh hairstyle and everything. And when I first saw Best Genius, I was like, 
this guy is a pro hero, but after seeing Stain, I don't know whether he's actually that good of a hero because he focuses so much on looks, so much on, on like how people perceive him and all that kind of shit. I was like, that's not really what Stain thinks is a good hero. You're basically building Bakugo up to be a shit hero, even though he's not the best hero anyway. He's got great skills, great abilities, a genius at fighting, but hero-wise, you're not really doing that. But so when we got to see Bakugo actually interact with these kids who recognize him from the sports festival and then they were like oh you're that you're that um you're that hero who got captured by the villain blah blah and we got to see Bakugo actually kind of going skeng at, well attacking verbally attacking as he always does um the, these three little kids who start crying and then we see best genius actually saying all right it's a good thing that his energy towards becoming number one is to is to that because if it wasn't towards that it would like what would happen i feel like it was a subtle way of basically um showing that some of the pro heroes are wondering whether Bakugo will become a villain so these small things are really nice it obviously wasn't spoon fed he didn't say outright but it was definitely the, the kind of lines he's talking around so really really cool but then once again like after that it gets it gets cut off and we get to see the other UA students but anyways most of the episode the meat of the episode or if you're vegetarian the vegetables <laughs> basically the main part of this episode focused on Suyu and her internship as well and uh, I think her her mentor was serious this was this like uh salesman was salesman <laughs> salesman <laughs> Oh my god, man, what the fuck is wrong with me? Was this... <laughs> her mentor was this chick called Sirius, I think? But anyways, and then um, the actual pro hero uh, was a guy called Selkie. Now, Selkie's a seal, and his abilities were literally everything of a seal. Super strong, sonar, um, basically doesn't need to use his eyes, blah, blah. All those kind of things that a seal has as has as the attributes, which is cool, considering that Suyu or Froppy, um, her abilities are to do with... A frog which is really cool as well so that, that was a perfect matchup for it in an internship and this episode at first kind of it shows to you doing nothing kind of being bored cleaning all this kind of stuff anyways sorry my phone's ringing all this kind of stuff talking to Sirius as well and it's kind of like all right oh like what are you actually doing Sirius is even asking her are you bored like I because I was on the first side and I liked that part of their conversations because it really showed their mindset and where it's actually going so that was really cool and so I, I I at first thought it was just the whole episode was just going to be of just cutting back and forth and not really doing anything kind of like a slice of life kind of episode but then some action actually happens they go on patrol and at first um, Suyu's told to stay behind and she's all like well, well I, I want to go on patrol I want to do some shit and um, yeah she didn't really do anything at first so she basically had to stand back and watch the pro heroes do their thing they get captured blah blah we all know what happens I don't want to talk for it but this episode focused on um um, Sirius actually asks Suyu, what do you think it is to be a pro hero? Paraphrasing. <laughs> and she didn't know at first. And I thought, okay, that's cool. Because Sirius said to her, look, everyone has their own different answers. You need to find your own. And by the end of this episode, Suyu finds her own. She actually, what she's at a lot, she's at, she was in a situation where um, the villains actually had like, were in control of the whole situation the pro heroes were pretty much trapped away somewhere else um her mentor was captured by the actual villain and she was like oh shit what the hell do i do and the villain says look tell your um captain on the phone that everything is fine um the villain isn't here blah 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 and she's like what do i do because if i say that we could all die but um if i if i don't say that and i say we're here like we could die still but then the hero could come so it's kind of like what do you do so i really liked that sue you thought of that and then she felt to jump into action she was a great hero now at the end of at the end of this whole episode after all this kind of madness that's going on what I thought was really really nice was that selkie actually acknowledged to you or froppy as a pro hero even though she doesn't have a license especially as um this police at the end were like oh um uh, pro hero Selkie, okay. I, di I didn't know that like, you had an apprentice. And then uh, talking about Sue, and he's like, oh no, it's not my apprentice. She's on an internship. And then the policeman's like, oh snap, like, I can't believe we put you through so much like on your first kind of time out, on, on your first kind of ex, whatever it is, <laughs> internship. Um, but then, yeah, so this whole episode really, it, it was a slower paced episode. Obviously, it's not going to be as, as high intensity as 
the, the past few weeks episodes of Stain and everything but it was nice because we got to have some kind of like a, a cool down a, just a chill down time focusing on character development focusing on a little bit of plot progression and kind of easing our way into the next arc so yeah that's this review in itself what did you think of this episode um obviously it was a bit more slow paced but did you like this episode did you want to do you want to see more of these kind of episodes where we focus on the other heroes the other ua students on um, their ideals their reasons of doing stuff or do you want to see more action 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 obviously this is a shonen series so we do want to see a lot of action normally but i want to know your thoughts anyway this is that i hope you do enjoy this review sorry it's a bit longer than i expected well actually it's sort of the same length as it always is but have a great day guys otaku chris is talking i'll see you guys next week peace <laughs>